Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Auto Moto Sports here. Yes, I kind of fixed my channel a little bit. I call it Auto Moto Sport now, from now. And uh, guys, back to the video showing you guys how I'm going to restore my uh, mom's car here. Um, basically, before I do it, I'm going to do a lot of editing and cutting. But before that, I'm going to show you guys why I have demonstrated here in the informative, you know, speech here. Just to talk a little bit about how I get, gather things before I even work on cleaning the headlights and restore it. Um, like I say on my first part of the videos, uh, I'm not going to be using the technique where using UV spray coats, clear coats. And uh, I did show you guys about the cheap way to... Uh, um, handle the uh, headlights here by just using simple technique like baking soda, olive oil, and all that. The next step would be the the perfect, the right uh, step, the right um, way to restore. Um, one of the right way to restore the headlights, okay, beside the UV clear uh, spray coat thing. Um, that will be a permanent thing if you're using the uv uh clear spray coats on the headlight after you clean it that will be a really really good uh ways to restore your headlights and that's going to be permanently okay it's going to be permanent uh if you do it that way it'll last you like a couple of years but for most people they'll do it just simple way like this here they'll buy them a, a um, restore headlights kits and then just use simple tools here, okay? Um, and it will last you a good six months to a year. But if you do the cheap way, it will last you maybe a couple of weeks, okay? Not six months, I forgot. It will last, this way will last you about two, three weeks at the most. Matter of fact, it did last my car a couple of days. That's because I didn't, um, I didn't use any uh, sandpaper. But if you use sandpaper, if you do use sandpaper and, you know, do it the cheap way, it probably lasts you a couple of months too, okay? But let's go back to the way that classic way that everyone does it, okay? Well, not classic, but nowadays everybody, everyone try to buy them a kit, you know? Or uh, it's called a restore headlights kit. This is what I have here. I have a kit here at Harbor Freight Tools for like under $15, okay? It's called Pitch Bird Deluxe Lens Renewal System Kit, okay? Now, this, this will have sand, refan, polish to restore cloudy and dull headlights, okay? So that kit right there is only under $15. You can buy a lot of kits online, like on eBay. I saw a bunch of kits from China and stuff, and they're under $15 also. And they're different types of kits. Some kits include more, uh, more, um, more items, more product in than the other kits, okay? This kit here I got from Hoverfly 2. Um, you can use a coupon, like a 20% uh, off or whatever, uh, but it's just basically a dollar or two off. So, you know, it's only $15 for this kit if you don't have any coupon anyway. And it'll, it'll, this kit will work with only, it will renew only one pair of uh, headlights on for one car, okay? At least I know that, but um, it comes with the manual. And uh, the... The thing is, when you buy this kit, really, you just buy this tool right here, and you know, because all this, uh, all this sand paper and stuff like that, they don't give you much. They'll give you enough just to do, like, just to work on one cars. So, um, like, let's see, where is it? That one tool is right here. Okay, I already installed it into my driller gun here, and uh, guys, it's a little bit dark, so. I'm going to try to make the video as much as fast as I can. If not, I'm going to have to uh, do it early in the morning. I have to shoot this video early in the morning. But I'm going to try to uh, do it before dawn, okay? Before the sun sets. So, really the kits, what I'm paying for is just that one tool. And the kits is included. Um, it did include this uh, polish polishing compound too. So this is probably enough for, for two headlights, okay? A one set headlight on one car. Also with one buff pad, one uh, um, polishing and clean form right here. That's what it is. And let me open up the kit for you here. So basically what the kit has is uh, it includes masking tape, 
P500 grit sanding disc, P800, P3000 grit sanding, uh, sanding pads, orange sponge round polishing, that's what it is, the pad, um, black plastic uh, polishing pad with um, back form layer, zinc plated steel, one foot arbor, this is what it is right there, and I took it off the kit and installed it onto a gun, it's supposed to be right there, and uh, what it has, uh, one white plastic tube of polishing and cleaning form, that's what it is, in the cleaning form, and uh, basically, let me open this out, this kit right here, see what it has. So that's the waxing buffing form, I guess you can say that. These are the 500 and the 800p sanding uh, paper disc. They only give me about, let's see, about 4 P800 and 6 P500 and uh, 2 3000. These are the 3000, okay? They only give me 2, just enough for 2 lens, <laughs> enough for 2 headlights. And here goes the masking tape. Um, and the polishing compound that's the cream you do want to have you do want to have like gloves for protection and cleaning and um, you do want to have um, put on some gargoyles so it'll be safe on your eyes too if some chemicals splash in your eyes you know and uh, you're gonna need to have cleaning towels the micro cleaning towels that's a must too while you do the cleaning and the sanding you need to clean it and then uh, here's what I have. Oh my God, it's kind of dark, but uh, I think you guys can see it. If I can see it, I think all of you guys can see it too, okay? Um, so let me go over what I should have first. I do have rubbing alcohol. I mean, I'm sure you guys can use the churning alcohol too. But I use that for any, you know, this kind of cleaning alcohol for any cleaning really. So I think that doesn't matter. It's the same like rubbing alcohol, I guess. Uh, but I do have rubbing alcohol too. I just grabbed I just had it got it. <clears throat> Next thing you would have <clears throat> is not choosing your um, your uh, gun, like a drill gun or anything to hold up the uh, the three inch. This is actually three inch, okay guys? This is three inch pad, okay? So the kit that Harbor Freight 2 is selling is a three inch. And um, if you want extra, you can go online like I did. I go on eBay and bought some more 3,000 sanding grits paper here and it comes with both sides one side stick onto stick onto what stick onto this right here this pad right here yeah one side stick onto that so it'll stick onto it and the other side is the sanding uh, side okay so i bought this is a hundred a pack of 100 3000 sand grits paper okay you will need a lot of 3000 because that's actually the finishing, okay? And then, of course, you need like the 600, the 800, and the 1200, you know, you know, 1000 and above, too. You do need those as well. That's why I got, I got extra, you know, here. Um, the reason I don't want to get any more like 800 and 1000 looks like this because I have so many same paper. That's 1000, 500, and all that. I'm going to start using all this first before I order some more of this sanding grits, uh, sanding this style, okay? So what I have extra right now is just this 3000 uh, sanding this style. And uh, I'm gonna use all of the, well, I'm not gonna use the kit yet because I already got P800 and P500. I can use um, 600 and 400, you know, or 1000 just to replace those and keep these as a kit here. Um, and I also already have this. You know, if I don't want to put it into the gun and, and do some drilling, you know, then I won't need this uh, this pad in the back here. You know, I just use one of this right here. I have the sponge already. It's about the same size. I mean, the same type of material. So, um, yeah, so that's what I bought here. It's from eBay. This is what extra I bought. It's only 10 bucks for a 100 piece of 3,000 um, pads like that. And it's just like this, okay? It's just... 3000 just like this and it is the same side make sure you want to buy the same side okay and i got the same side 3000 yep that's the same side right there and uh i took it out and test already it is a 3000 uh sanding grits pad okay um so i'm gonna just basically use all my sanding paper here first like the 800 and the 1000 and then just go out with my 3000 um when i do the cleaning and stuff um about 
putting in the okay let's choose the gun first okay um there's three type of gun or drill thing i can use or you can use at least you don't have to but you just gotta know which gun uh, is better for you to choose to me i think the the driller here with the um, electrical wire that's the best thing okay it's the old kind that's why you gotta kind of adjust the speed okay um and you can install this into it it'll fit right onto it and just lock it up but uh remember i got the old uh graphman um type of gun and it's been real fast now let me test it you guys can see see how fast it's been you don't want to spin that fast when you um when you clean the headlights okay you don't want to spin that fast you want to go easy like maybe one fourth of the way like this i would go just around like that okay just kind of hold it like that the whole way okay if if not even less than that okay don't try to drill too fast uh really it takes about uh how many rpm it says on here it should you should be doing it at around 1200 to 1600 rpm okay if your driller is faster than that try to set do the setting to set it lower um <clears throat> another kind of gun that i can use is uh, this cordless drill gun it's 18 volt that i bought from uh Hobo Fight 2 for a good price too. It comes with the headlights. And uh, you can use this too. Just as long as you set it to, you know, one or two setting real low. Or, you know, just let it, just set it low so um, it won't, you know, go too fast when you're trying to clean the headlights. And uh, right now I didn't start because I'm in the middle of charging it. That's kind of inconvenience because you have to charge it. If you leave it out for so long and you want to use it, you're going to have to charge it before you use it. Okay? So that's what... I'm not so good about it, but you can use it like that. Or another way is this driller. I guess it's called a a drill. Um, no, it's a compact air die grinder. You can use this too. Just plug. You gotta have the, but you're gonna have to have the the air compressor with the holes, so you can use it that way. Um, I did plug it up. It did spin kind of fast too, but I can do my setting by you know working with the the hand here. But anyway it's not the best okay the best thing is this drill a gun right here or your hand okay use your hand in round motion okay in round motion first and then uh, horizontal secondly that's what people use all everybody else showing the same video they use the same technique way on youtube is they show you how to um sand it you know as a circle first and then horizontal and then go back to a circle and then go horizontal again uh basically you just kind of have to switch over and over but the last the very last thing you want to send is horizontal that is the only way if you uh if you're going to uh um if you're going to spray uv coats clear coat on the headlights that's the only way that you have to send it uh horizontal because you spraying something okay but if you don't spray uv coat clear coat or anything on your headlights you can just simply you know uh sand it circle in a in a round motion or you know horizontal it doesn't really matter really to be honest um so uh yeah guys um and here this is what i use rubbing compound um and plastic x yes the plastic x here for headlights is actually for sale um at walmart for like six seven dollars this bottle here this is a 10 ounce 10 floor ounce bottle and i don't know why i got this rubbing compound i i've been i, I have this rubbing compound um bottle forever I, I never use it in any way i guess i think this rubbing compound is for cleaning the the car too not just headlights but uh, it's, it's probably the same material like the Plast X, and the same the same material like this polishing compound there, and also the same material as this right here too polishing compound. Okay. Now remember, guys, this uh, rubbing compound is total wax. Okay, and the same thing with this polishing compound is total wax brand. Okay, I got this wax and dry is total wax brand too. But remember, guys, this wax and dry thing is the last thing you ever do, you know, after you clean and dry up uh, the headlights, then you're going to use uh, wax and dry spray that on. And uh, this plastic X is kind of, it's like a cream too, 
So it's just different brand than the turtle. Like this is like rubbing compound too, but this is the right stuff. This is the that's that's what is called um, polishing compound, just like that. That's the same material, okay? So I'm either gonna use that tube right there or that plastic X um, chemical to clean off the headlights. Either that, or I can just go ahead and use some leftover rubbing compound, like polishing compound here, you know, because I've been using this for the past years. And uh, basically, that's that would be it. And uh, what I'm gonna do first uh, after this is I'm gonna take some. Uh, I guess some paper towel or you want to get some micro towel cleaning towel here and uh, go ahead and uh, have this open you know have this ready and just spray on spray this uh, older glass cleaner onto uh, or Windex if you have Windex you know or any older glass cleaner spray a couple of spray on your headlights um, you know and then just wipe and clean the headlights so all the dirt and all that will be gone or you can use some alcohol rubbing alcohol but I would recommend using rubber alcohol uh, last, okay? Like after you sand and uh, and go over Plast X, then when you want to clean those chemical, use rubber alcohol to clean it. That's it, guys. So uh, m remember, make sure to have all your stuff ready, like bucket of water and um, and uh, gloves, okay? And uh, of course, remember you want to have you want to tape use your paint tape and tape some newspaper around the edge of the headlights so it won't you know water and chemical and stuff won't won't splash over um, the car's bodies because it, it might chip your paint too so uh, yeah guys that's it so I'm gonna go straight to work I'm gonna have to get my mom's headlights uh, very very buff and clean by tomorrow or so and uh, I'm probably going to show you step by step right after this, okay? So the first thing I'll do is just that, clean the headlight first. And I'll see you uh, doing the video, all right?